Hey, I'm Andrew from DD Microphones, and today we're going to be talking about the BPTRX and how to use it with timecode. The BPTRX can be used as a timecode box or a timecode audio recorder. Both settings use the same menu, so let's get started. Step one, let's press the main menu. Go down to the TRX mode and hit select. The modes that can use timecode are TX and record, camera hop, master TX, record only, and timecode box. For the purposes of this, we're gonna show it to you in timecode box mode. So we have selected timecode box, and we will now go back to the home screen. First thing you'll notice is the home screen now looks completely different. It actually looks something like what you'd see on a traditional timecode box device. Now, in order to change the settings on this timecode box to talk to something else or to generate his own timecode, we will then go into the menu. You'll see the menu is now different than before. And all we have is the option of timecode sync. Select timecode sync. In the timecode sync menu, you'll see two different options, timecode settings and timecode output. Timecode output is for adjusting the voltage. Depending on what device you're going into, it may need a separate voltage. You can adjust the setting in that menu, but all we need to do today is the timecode settings menu. So we've selected that. By default, timecode is turned off in your device. You'll need to turn it on and select either internal free run or internal RTC run. We're gonna select free run. This is the most popular choice and will be fitting for most people. As you can see, we are now generating timecode and we have 23.97 frames per second selected. If you were shooting with a different frame rate, you can actually change that to whatever frame rate you like. Now we have timecode generating internally. We can sync this to an external device. Let me show you how. I'm gonna use the timecode sync cable that comes with your BPTRX unit and plug it into the output. If I wanna do this permanently installed on something like an audio bag, I could spin it and lock it into place using the 3.5 millimeter locking connector. Here I have a Zoom F8 with a timecode input that is a BNC that matches our sync cable. All I need to do is take the BNC part of our cable, plug it into the input in the menu of the Zoom F8, select external timecode input and hit jam. We have now jammed the two devices together. If however, I would like to actually set the timecode in my BPTRX to match that of my Zoom F8, I would do the exact opposite. I would go into the output of the Zoom F8 and I would plug this into the actual input of my BPTRX. The mic input on the BPTRX is also the timecode input. Here you can see we have timecode being fed from the Zoom F8 into our BPTRX unit and it'll show up here as external timecode. You'll see that the frame rate coming in is identical to the frame rate on the BPTRX. It is important to note that your frame rates must match. In order to jam the BPTRX to the Zoom F8, I will then select down to the jam icon and hit select. Immediately, you'll notice your BPTRX's internal timecode will now match that of your external source. Now you are ready to unplug your device from your source, in this case, the Zoom F8, and you could use this as an external timecode box on another camera, another audio recorder, or if you happen to be in record only mode, master TX mode, or TX record mode, you could actually hit record on the unit itself, and the timecode recorded to the device will match that of your Zoom F8. And there you have it. We have now jam synced our BPTRX unit to external timecode source, as well as internally generated our own timecode. If you have any timecode questions about the BPTRX or timecode in general, drop them down in the comment section below.